What's up guys, so uh, welcome to another video about Divi 4. So um, what we've been asked to do is to show you how to create a child theme and customize that child theme so you can um, showcase your business or your web design team. So first thing I'm gonna do is to run through what it's gonna look like and then what you need to do to create it. So let's have a look at the site. So when you first log on, what we're gonna do is show you how to create a theme information and support uh, dashboard wi widget, which gives um, the end users information on who built the theme, um, where they can get support, how to contact you, and um, some tutorials is what, what we've added here. Uh, the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you how, actually how to create the um, child theme. So this dashboard widget is part of the child theme only. So if uh, another theme, main theme is activated without a child theme, then this will vanish because um, it's bespoke to the child theme. So if we navigate down to our themes section, what we're going to do is to um, show you how you can create a, um, uh, an information picture. Uh, and then obviously if you click on the child theme itself, it gives you some information on who created the child theme, um, a link to uh, the website or um, whatever you want to put there as the link, some information on what the child theme is about and anything else that you want to add here. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to um, create three files. So for a child theme, you need a functions.php. You need um, an image called uh, screenshot.png, uh, and that needs to be a specific size. And you need a style.css. So let's go and have a look at um, what's required. So if we go to our WordPress themes child theme area so here's the three files we need a functions.php screenshot.png and a style.css so the screenshot uh, needs to be a specific size so if we go to the details you can see here it needs to be 1200 by 900 pixels um, and it needs to be a PNG file so you can use anything you want we used GIMP to create this um, and as you can see here all it is black background logo and some text and then export it as a PNG file the next thing that we want to do is we want to have a look at the style.css so what this means is if I just jump back to the website basically um, Divi the standard comes with theme um, the CSS you can add to the theme options here. Now, normally um, when you upgrade Divi, um, it honors whatever is in, in here. So um, even if you weren't creating a child theme, um, you wouldn't lose any of your custom styling when you upgraded uh, the Divi theme because it's all held um, in the options file. But in our instance, because we've created a child theme, um, we like to have a little bit more control. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to appearance, we're gonna go down to theme editor. Um, now, any custom CSS um, coding that we do, we create um, and we add it to our child theme CSS menu uh, file. And as you can see here, we give it some titles and what the custom CSS is and what it does so that, you know, at the end of the day, if uh, if they decide to move to a new provider, then they've got all that information there. So the next thing is the information that we see on the child theme information. So you need to have uh, key pieces of information in your style.css. So the first one is the theme name, and it needs to be called uh, Divi Child Theme, if you're running Divi, that is. Um, and the template needs to be Divi. So what this means basically is that it's going to be listed as a child theme with the name um, and the parent is uh, Divi, the Divi theme. So you need to have Divi uh, installed obviously for this to work. The next thing is we've got description. So this is the text that appears um, as part of your child theme. Let me just um, go back to that and we'll show you that again. So theme name is here you need to obviously have the have the theme name um, 
The template is Divi, so it knows it's a child theme of uh, Divi, and that comes out here. Then you want your description, which comes out here. You can obviously use um, carriage returns in there as well if you want to. Um, and then the version number, um, whether it the GN, uh, the, the license, license type and the information to the license. You don't actually need it. Um, and then you need the uh, text domain, which is uh, Divi Child. The next thing is um, what you name it when you upload it to your uh, WordPress installation. So I'm going to show you that here. Um, we'll just close that. So this is our main theme, the Divi theme, and we create a folder called uh, Divi-Child. It's got to be this case, otherwise it won't um, it won't appear. Uh, and then inside we've got our three files. So what we can do is you can edit them this way through the theme editor um, and you can also go to the theme functions now this bit is uh, slightly trickier so what we've got in here basically we need to tell that we want to um, use the child theme so we use um, the function wpnq scripts um, and this is the case this is the code that you need for that you can find this anywhere on the internet on uh, creating a child theme and then for the dashboard icon item, we've got um, a little piece of code that creates the uh, the dashboard item. Again, if you go off to Google and search for um, creating custom dashboard widget, um, you'll find plenty of information to help you uh, to help you create that. So what we've got in our instance is we've created the dashboard widget. This is the title of the dashboard widget here, theme information and support. So that comes out as this part here, theme in information and support. Then we've got a little bit of text. This theme was built by us. Um, we've got uh, a couple of carriage returns uh, with a space in between so that it honors it. Um, and then another couple of lines. And as you can see here, uh, we've created a, a link for them to email us and also uh, a link to our YouTube channel here for on the tutorial side. Um, they can obviously disable that, so the same functionality applies. The screen options, if you untick it, it'll remove it. Tick it, it'll add it back in again. So this is the standard uh, front page. So that's it in terms of the functions file. Now we can go back to our style sheet. Um, we've been through this already, so uh, I'm not gonna talk about what we've done, but in our instance, we have used a couple of bespoke things. So let's just have a quick look here. So what I've done in our menu is to create some custom um, buttons here and that code is contained in our child theme. So basically when Divi says it's got an update available, let's go back to our themes, um, you can update the Divi theme directly from the um, from the theme area. Uh, it doesn't touch the child theme obviously, it'll update the engine behind the scenes and you will carry on as normal with your uh, with your standard child theme. So the three files that you need, just to recap, um, you create a directory called uh, Divi Child in your themes directory. You have three files, functions.php, the screenshot.png, and the style.css. Um, and that's, that's it, basically. Um, it's very, very simple to provide the relevant information to your users and having a child theme as well it um, you can do some bespoke uh, php coding using the theme uh, the functions.php file and also um, gives you a lot more flexibility and showcases your business or your design consultancy so if you've got any questions uh, just leave us a comment um, down below the video and if you found this video useful great if you could like and also subscribe to our channel we will be adding more Divi 
tutorials um, in the coming months so uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those. I'd just like to say thank you for watching and good luck with your theme building.